Mother, I can't do this. I've rehearsed my vows, like, a thousand times and yet I think I've forgotten most of them already. Weevil's heart raced faster as he could now see his husband to be. Rex wore a tuxedo resembling Black Tyranno, and his chestnut locks were tied back with a dinosaur claw hair clip. Relax, sweetie, Camellia reassured as she stepped back, now that her son had reached the TV remember, you're the smartest guy in all of Domino City. Weevil stammered as he held Rex's hands, with Mokaba about to start officiating the wedding. Why yo, dude. PFFT as best man, Joey stood behind Rex. Smartest guy in all of Domino City, huh? Shut up, Joey. As if Weevil felt nervous enough, Joey's teasing didn't make it any better. Or I just might sneak a caterpillar in your shirt when you get married. Hey. Rex squeezed Weevil's hand tighter. You know how Joey is. Just ignore him. Dear friends, family, and citizens of Domino City, Mokaba began the ceremony, which by this point had drawn a large crowd. The close friends and family of Rex and Weevil took their seats. The sun looked upon them from directly above, the sunlight glistening off of the awning's flowers and the variety of insects crawling throughout it. We are gathered here today to witness the union of Rex Leonid as Raptor and Weevil Henry Underwood in marriage. We welcome and thank each and every one of you for being a part of this wonderful occasion. As with their careers as dualists, their journey as a married couple will test and bring out the best in them. And just like their latest careers as dualists, they will face trials and tribulations, but always come out strong in the end. You are all gathered here because you have helped these two young men and have a bond with them, one way or another. As for me, I couldn't be more proud that my cousin, Rex, has chosen me to officiate his wedding. The grooms have each prepared vows that they will recite now. In my turn. Weevil piped up, much to the surprise of all. I don't need to rehearse to let all of Domino City know just how much I love you. I don't need to rehearse to remember how united we are in our desire for revenge against several duelists. Particularly Yuji, Autumn, and especially Joey. Especially me, huh? Joey couldn't help but laugh again. Spoken like a true duelist, Yuji spoke to his former other self. You said it, partner, replied Autumn. Or, heck, Rex. I've prepared a handwritten speech for my salutatorian address. But on this day, I want to speak from the heart. Even now, I am still in awe that a dung beetle like me is worthy of your love. While everyone in this city hated me, you were the only one to show me love all those years ago. Even after I went mad and tried to kill you, you still loved me. I am so grateful that we have found each other and I vow to love you forever. See. What did I tell you? Camellia winked. I bet I can outdo that. Rex smirked. Go ahead and try, Dino Brain. Gladly, Bug Boy. Rex took a deep breath before beginning his vows. I am thankful for all the blessings we have, not the least of which is our adorable daughter Ambrosia. If not for Maya and her expertise, we wouldn't have such a bundle of joy. Or, you're too kind, Rex. Maya sat next to Amber and Clea. Yet I haven't always been kind. I'll be the first to admit that I'm still as arrogant as they come. But several people have made me appreciate friendship more not the least of whom is you, Weaves. You were my first friend, and I couldn't be happier that we made that same dumb mistake of showing up to regionals prelims a day early. This tale elicited several giggles from the crowd's members. Even from those who were not explicitly invited. I had no idea that from there, I would quickly fall in love with that rich boy I met, and that he would be the man I swear my eternal love to on this day. Waiting those three years to confess my love was so worth it. Hair hair, Weevil laughed in his signature way. I think I win. Yeah, right. Even at the altar, you guys are still rivals. 
Let's just say you both win. Mokaba chuckled. Now, will the ring bearer present the rings? I think you'll like who I chose for the ring bearer, spoke Rex. Between the husbands to be and in front of Mokaba stood a tan-skinned boy with spiky brown hair, red violet eyes, and traditional ancient Egyptian garb. He can't be older than two, Weevil reckoned. It can't be its Hika. As we begin the declaration of intent, I would like for each groom to place a ring on his partner's finger. Rex Leonid as Raptor, do you take Weevil Henry Underwood as your lawfully wedded husband? To have and to hold, in sickness and in health, in good times and not so good times, the richer or poorer, keeping yourself unto him for as long as you both shall live. I do. Rex took the new ring a rose gold one with a thin sapphire band in the middle and put it on Weevil's left ring finger. And you, Weevil Henry Underwood, take Rex Leonid as Raptor to be your lawfully wedded husband? To have and to hold, in sickness and in health, in good times and not so good times, the richer or poorer, keeping yourself unto him for as long as you both shall live. I do. The wedding ring Weevil gave Rex was similar to his engagement ring, but had two thin bands of dinosaur bone inlay. The dinosaur duelist wore this new ring on his left ring finger, complementing the one he wore on his right ring finger. You spend too much money on jewelry, bug boy. If there are any objections to this union, speak now or forever hold your peace. Who would object to these two cutie pies? Joey noted. Even if I did, I wouldn't do anything about it, mumbled the kid who got his dark ruler Hades stolen all those years ago. Then by the power vested in me Mokab Kibba, President and CEO of Gibber Corporation I now pronounce you husband and husband. You may now kiss the husband. There's that pretty face. Rex lifted Weevil's veil from his face. Come here, you Jurassic jerk. Weevil seized Rex by the waist tiptoeing slightly to kiss his new husband. I now present to you, Domino City, Mr. and Mr. X and Weevil Raptor. So, the runner-up and champion of regionals got hitched, and with each other, no less, Rex's opponent at regional semi-finals mused while Duke played sexy back on the organ. Who'd have thunk it?